Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to consume RESTful web services from your Android application. So I'm going to use this Fuel library uh, for REST connections from Android application and ANCO for um, designing the UI. So you can use your uh, like a mockable I.O. to test your REST endpoint, create a REST endpoint and calling it. So I have created one. So now if I just go to this URL, I should see hello world, but it's bare bone and it requires a lot of time to create. So I have created a spring application uh, just to test the endpoints. So this is a person endpoints. As you can see, all are local. Uh, I'm not using any database or anything. Uh, it's just uh, sending a list of person uh, sending by ID, posting a new person. So for you, you are going to use your own REST endpoint. Uh, I'm just uh, showing what I have done uh, to make my uh, REST endpoint calls. So it's a simple, uh, as I mentioned, it's a simple Spring application. As you can see, here's the build.cradle. Uh, if you want, I can put this code on the description as well. Uh, so nothing much, um, the initializer and the person controller. Okay, and now let's start the Android application. So I'm gonna go with the default. Here, one thing to mention, I am using Kotlin. And finish it. So here's my application. Let's run this. I'm gonna use my device. So it's running as expected. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not going to use the XML layout, rather I'm going to use X uh, Anko. So first thing first, let's add the dependencies. First, add the version numbers. And then the libraries. So as you can see, uh, I'm using Anko and Fuel for REST consumption. Anko is optional, you can use the XML layout, but Anko is just simple, that's why I'm using it. So first, let's clear the layout. As I mentioned, I'm not going to use this XML. So to create Anko layout, you just say layout, uh, vertical layout, what type of layout, and inside that, whatever you want, like a text view, and text, go text run this application. It's going to use the same device and it works as expected. Now let's create a local variable so that you can use it from other places. We have the text view. assign it over here okay now let's add some button so adding button is uh, that simple as well so this is button one uh, text let's put this name as get all uh, let's click add the click event we want we just want to change the text for now and same goes for post batch so I'm gonna use only uh, two more uh, let's change the font size now so they can see it better And this is going to be for post. Let's see the changes in action. Get all get post. 
now let's create a method to call the rest endpoint from the on click get all person alt enter create function and from here we are going to call the endpoint from a background task so for that we can use the async from coroutine and mention from where import it and from here we simply call fuel dot get so first we have to put the URL so this is the URL to get all the persons as you can see over here so my local host IP address is 1.2 that's why it's 1.2 over there and this is the port now this returns a tuple uh, but before uh, let's just set up the tuple now uh, it's going to be a val of a tuple first it's going to be request and then response and result now we can get a result using dot await object response and we can mention that what we are expecting so we are expecting person so first let's create the person class and add the data modifier over here so that we get some additional functionality like to a string and finally add the deserializer information over here so since we have used uh, JSON so you can get the JSON functionality from here JSON deserializer and we mentioned the type so we are expecting a list of person and that's it now to uh, access this data we gonna fold the result so it gives information in two channel uh, one is data and one is error so let's access the data and simply uh, put the data over here uh, on the text view so we have the text view dot text data as simple as that so it's a string so we have to add it inside the string notation next if there is some error we should be getting that error in the error channel same over here but in this case it's error dot localized message and finally we need to add internet permission and on the application so now if we press get all we get all the persons so let's see how we can work with other APIs, API endpoints like get one and post or patch. So for get one, uh, it's going to be same. So I'm not going to write the whole thing. Let's copy and paste this method and just get person. So let's say we want to get the person one only, and since it's only one person, it's just going to be person, and that's it. So we're done. So get all works. I have to call this first. I forgot to call it. Uh, so it's going to be from button two. So get all works. Get also works. 
now see how we can do post the post is also similar uh, again let's copy this code uh, rather than get let's do post person and the URL is just person uh, we are expecting person as well um, it's because it's mentioned in the API uh, post mapping so it's returning the person that we are sending that is why I am uh, writing it that way now we need to add some information since it expects a person and it's going to be a JSON type object so we need these two information added to the request so first let's add the header and it's going to be map of a simple string uh, content type application json and we also need to send the body which is also a person sorry body so we have json on our library that is why we can use the json serializer and deserializer to json and inside our person object So let's say ID is 10, name is name 5, <laughs> and age is 55, something like that. And everything else is same. Now we need to call it, of course. So let's call it from here. First. And that's all. So get all get works as expected and when we are clicking on post we are getting some error so the problem is I didn't change the method so it has to be post of course and everything else looks okay uh, yeah so let's read on this application So get all works, get works, and now post also works. And now if I press get all, we should be seeing this get all at the end, and we do. So post, patch, and uh, put, delete, all works the same way. We just change the method type. <coughs> Everything else works the same. So that's all. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment below. Uh, the code for this uh, will be uploaded on GitHub and the link will be posted on the description. And that's all. Bye bye.